Hey guys, Thunder E here, and welcome to another build video. Now this video is a little different because this PC has been already built. This was our original Rising with Vega build. You can go ahead and check out that video. Solid performer for 1080p gaming, nice frame rate, uh, and of course an ITX Ryzen build. Now what we're gonna do here in this video is upgrade this to the brand new Ryzen 2600, which is of course is a Ryzen 5 processor. Now, the reason why I want to do this in showcase is the fact that the Ryzen processor is really easy to upgrade. You don't have to change a motherboard. You don't have to change much if you just want to simply upgrade your processor. You just have to change the chip because the Ryzen processor runs on the AM4 uh, socket platform. So which means it's easy from the Ryzen 1 to jump all the way to the Ryzen 2700X, for example, and upgrade. But of course, if you want to get more from the system, you will change motherboard. Now, that being said, check out that video for our Ryzen 2700X build. It's an awesome processor, great for 4K gaming. So we want to see how well this performs. We add in a GTX 1060 mini to this as well. And those are the only two major things we add in. The other thing also is an extra storage, just because we wanted to actually have some more storage on our build. So let's go ahead and upgrade. So really the main thing we're changing, of course, is our CPU from a Ryzen with Vega to the Ryzen 5 2600 right here. And that's pretty cool because we don't have to actually change anything. The fans are the same, so we could replace the fan if we want to, but we're sticking with the fan we have here and we're just going to actually keep our motherboard the same. So it's the same um, ITX motherboard. We've got our Ryzen 5 2600 we placed in right there. Looks pretty nice. And don't forget, Thermal paste, guys, because of course we're putting in a fresh CPU on this build here. And then we're gonna screw down our fans in to make sure that it's secure and it also gives us some cooling because we're definitely gonna be needed because we'll be doing some gaming on this system. Now, uh, the one thing I will mention is that I forgot how small this case was so i had to do try and rewire everything so i kind of gutted out the case again this is just my own uh thinking depends on what kind of case and what you're using with it. and of course you guys will notice at the end that i kind of gave up halfway on my uh, on my cable management but it is something that you know what you gotta do and uh the cool thing about this build at least for me is the fact that i was able to take something that was going to be just a basic build and then improve it and just amp it all the way uh, with the Ryzen 5 2600. Now it's all built in, everything looks pretty good there. We've had our GTX 1060, we've got a 650 watt power supply, so we've got enough right there. We added an extra SSD for games, so we've got two. Our system is up, lighting is on there, and we're ready to go, and Spider-Man is pulling us in. So let's start off with our first game, which is Call of Duty World War II. Now it's all set at ultra resolution 2560 by 1080. We've got a GTX 1060, you can see how well it's handling. One of the things that I liked was the fact that bumping up from that Ryzen Medieval Vega to the Ryzen 5 2600, I got better performance. I was able to actually push things much harder on my system which is pretty cool. So I was able to actually game and get, the, of course, this kind of frame rates you're seeing and also just the smoothness uh, overall on the system, which is nice. Uh, I haven't actually played Call of Duty World War II in a while. So of course, you guys are gonna watch me die quite a bit as in most of the games you're gonna see here, maybe except uh, Doom. Speaking of Doom, uh, we have it also set at Ultra and resolution 2560 by 1080. Gonna just go ahead and reset that. And we're getting some really high frame rates. Now in Call of Duty, we've got about 60 frames locked. Uh, here we have about uh, between 70 to about 90 frames per second. Uh, Doom is a fast paced game. I really like playing Doom, uh, just personally, but also like playing it while testing out builds just because of uh, you know the fast pace and also a lot of things going on, on the screen at the same time and seeing how well the system handles well. Uh, with that and the 2600 does a good job here paired with the gtx 1060 uh, again really pushing as much as possible and getting a whole uh good uh good frame rates of that now we moved over to uh of course battlefield one here and our frame rates are 
roughly between around 51 to 52 25 60 by 1080 again uh, and we are pushing this at ultra we're trying to see how far we can go forward with this and again things look pretty smooth uh runs pretty well frame rates sometimes goes up to 60 depending if you're not getting into a firefight uh, and it looks pretty nice uh and i think that's something that uh, a lot of people appreciate with a build like this and also if you're upgrading and that's why like i said uh, one of the reasons i like the ryzen processor is the fact that you know i could have had an itx build from ryzen 1 i can still use that board i can also still then upgrade it uh with the ryzen 5 2600 and get this kind of performance you know if i was using a gtx 1060 mini from last year it really doesn't matter it's the same thing it would just improve the performance from there and finally of course the game that everyone has been playing fortnite uh which is not a game that i technically play that much or that often but i wanted to see how well it handled here so fortnite is the only game we actually ran at 3440 by 1440 uh, and the resolution key and the game is spec at high, not ultra. Um, we just wanted to see what it would actually do at max resolution for graphics like this. And uh, as you can see, it looks pretty good. Um, of course, uh, again, like I said, I don't play Fortnite that much, so um, I'm probably gonna die pretty soon and not even actually take anyone out uh, in the game. But again, you can clearly see how smooth it's running. The frame rates are up there between 70 to 80. Uh, roughly and uh, you're getting some really good performance off the system uh, and that's what I like so I, I, again for me you know upgrading from Horizon 1 to Horizon 2 makes a lot of sense and also it's cost effective too you don't have to change your whole system you can add things you don't have to actually swap out a motherboard or even um, you know changing your cooling or anything like that because the am4 socket really is built for that kind of upgrade process that makes things easy for a lot of people to actually go ahead and take the benefits of a processor like this so um you know what let's see if we can get into some uh, firefights here and i can see somebody hopping around over there uh and i'm most likely going to die pretty soon as you guys probably guess people are shooting at me gonna see if i can take someone out see some gunshots on that side now see the thing with fortnite i can't actually i don't know how to build well so uh, i'm gonna die in three two yeah there we go so anyway let's go ahead and round up this video all right so hopefully this video gave you a good idea of how easy it is to upgrade a ryzen processor whether you're moving from the original ryzen 1 or to something like the ryzen 2600 which is actually built in here at least now uh, you can see it's a very easy process and the cost effectiveness really holds true. You don't have to get a new motherboard, you don't have to actually spend any extra unless you want to. And that's one of the things I like about the new Ryzen line. Now, if you guys are looking to do something similar like this, I'll leave the links down for you guys down below. You can purchase it off Amazon and support the channel that way. But anyway guys, thank you very much for watching this video. If you like it, don't forget to hit the like button, also share and definitely subscribe to the channel uh, if you haven't already. So this is Thunder E saying thank you very much and always enjoy your entertainment. Thank you.